Hello, my name is Ms. Donahue and I'm your librarian for the year at Robinson. This is a picture of me with my favorite book, Bridge to Terabithia. I hope to introduce you to lots of books you will come to love. When you walk in, you will see a bulletin board displayed with information for the month or with student work we have created in the library. As you move further into the library, you will see a computer, which is where you can always search for books when you are here, and it is a time we call circulation, but most of you will probably just call it time to look for books. This is the site where we look for books. When you're at home, you can always look to see if a book is available that interests you. This is how the website looks. You can search by things like author, title of the book, or subject. It also tells you the most recent books that have been entered into the system. I'm always available to help too if you need it. This is one of the tables you'll find when you come in. At the beginning of the year you'll be assigned a seat. Sit down when you arrive and be ready to learn. When you come into class and are seated, I'll let you know what we're doing for the day. Many days we use a smart board. Other days I'll read out loud. We always have a lesson and then we check out books. There are lots of magazines available in the library, but they can't be checked out because they get damaged easily. You can look at these once you have selected a book or if you forgot your book for the week. I put new books on display in a few places in the library so you'll always know what's coming out. Along the back wall, you can find our almanacs, atlases, encyclopedias, and dictionaries. They are useful for when their internet isn't working or you need a quick check on something. The Everybody section is for our younger crowd who are just learning to read. It's filled with big words and big pictures. Some favorite authors here are Dr. Seuss and Mo Willems' Pigeon Books. When there are Guinness Book of World Records available, this is where you can find them. Also, alien UFO books tend to be popular. I've recently added some books about computers and programming after a successful week of code project with 4th and 5th grade. Even when it's not Halloween, we all still love reading about ghosts. Optical illusion books are also consistent favorites, which can both be found in this section. Mythology books are found here and can be quite an interesting read. This section covers a lot of topics like folk tales, the environment, family, and holidays. Many of you will like coming here to read about multiple subjects. This is where you would find books written about other languages. If you're looking to learn a few words or phrases in Spanish or French, head on over. This is the section where you find lots of books on animals and all types like guinea pigs, rabbits, cats, and dogs. The most popular items you'll find here are cookbooks, but if you're interested in science to become a doctor or nurse one day, don't miss out on this section. This is the biggest and most frequently used area of the library. These books focus on all different types of sports, including sports teams like the Eagles and Giants. Also, specific arts, for example, this is where you'd find all our drawing books. Many people come here to find popular poetry books like A Light in the Attic and Where the Sidewalk Ends. This section is all about history. The most popular subjects are usually the state of New Jersey, Native Americans, and the Titanic. Biographies. The Who Is and Was books are here, which students of most ages check out to read about famous people from the present and past. We also have books on presidents and other people. Last but certainly not least is our fiction section. This is where you find books from popular authors like J.K. Rowling who wrote the Harry Potter series and Jeannie B. Jones, Barbara Park. Just to find a book you look up by fiction and the author's last name.